thing they wanted to know is what you are planning on eating to get you through this race. I actually use 95% liquid. I use a product called Spiz. So every hour, you get a water bottle, you down it. It's 500 calories. I've been using it, guys, since the early 90s. Guy, great guy named Randy Ice developed it for Ram guys, and been using it ever since. So 95% of that, and then some juicy fruits and you know bananas, kiwis, grapes. Have you ever experienced a total stomach shutdown? Um, you know, I was just joking with the crew this morning how every Ram I've thrown up. For some reason, so I've completely evacuated my stomach cavity and and uh, re rebounded fine. So I don't know, maybe too many spizzes at once or just jitters. I have no idea. But when you yeah. puke, what do you do afterwards? Do you just not? I'm eat the world's loudest drugs? puker, by the way. Um, no, you got it. You're nervous because you got to start hydrating again. Yeah. Because all your fluids are gone and your medications, maybe if you took any. So you're quickly trying to replenish all that. Absolutely, you get nervous. So you stay on a liquid diet for the entire race. Yep, I have. That's my. That's been my history. And another question they wanted to know about was how you plan your sleeping. Well, I usually try to sleep between two and five in the morning, somewhere in there, depending how I feel, or maybe link it to a time station. Um, the whole sleep you should usually take three hours, maybe an hour, half an hour to get down to sleep. Maybe sleep for an hour and a half, two, and then another half an hour to get up and get going again. But those. The half an hour just melts away, just getting dressed, because as the race wears on, you're kind of lethargic and crabby, and you're just pulling on your shorts, and you know what I mean? So, the, the, the time just melts away, you got to be careful of that. Do you have a race mantra for this one? Um, you know, nothing I can think of that's clever right now. <laughs> no, just, I want to, you know, I just want to finish up nicely, be safe, I got a great crew home see my lovely wife and just a lot goes into this I'm looking forward to a great race and an adventure and then going home and relaxing when you're done after your wife has done all this crewing for you what does she get in return um, a trip to Europe right hon <laughs> a trip to Europe so a lot of vacations we're actually going to Yosemite in uh, August so we have a lot of fun right where are you from originally Danbury Connecticut Where's that? Right. People think it's near like Illinois. It's all, it's, it's 50 miles north of um, New York City. You got, uh, it, what's on top of your, your helmet? Is that, uh... It's a cool little night light. Oh, cool. So you can see your computer because obviously your body blocks the light from, the, from your computer area. Mm -hmm. So I like to see the time or my speed or my heart rate. So this little doohickey lights it up. What info is most valuable to you on your computer? I seem to be obsessed with the time. I don't know why. I'm always looking, you know, I'm sleeping, looking at my watch or um, average speed, miles to the next time station.